So, uh, hello. Um, should you buy yourself uh, a microscope uh, with a monocular head? That's one where you only have uh, one eyepiece uh, to look through. Um, one with a binocular head, basically, so you can have two eyepieces, or one with a trinocular head where you have the, also the possibility um, to attach a larger camera. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? And I'm gonna explain this uh, in this video. Well, uh, first of all, you have to understand that many mid-range microscopes uh, allow you to exchange the head of the microscope. Um, so this means that the microscope is very modular and when you buy the microscope, you sometimes have a choice uh, which type of microscope head you would like to have attached. This depends a lot on the company, of course, because not all microscope manufacturers offer all possibilities. But generally in the mid-range, there is sometimes or quite often there is a possibility to choose. Now, uh, the question is now is what are some of the advantages um, of each uh, one of these uh, type of microscope heads. Well, first of all, let's start off uh, with uh, a monocular uh, microscope with a monocular head like this one over here. Um, and uh, the advantage um, of these microscopes is, is that they um, have uh, basically a much greater portability. Um, the, this means is uh, they're lighter and they're also smaller. You can construct them smaller and not only size and weight are a consideration, but because they're also less mechanical parts uh, because, um, compared to a binocular or trinocular head where you actually have mechanical parts where you can adjust the eye distance. It doesn't have, this is of course not the case here. Um, for this reason, there is also the possibility of less damage in case uh, something happens during the transport. So monocular microscopes, besides being significantly cheaper, of course, have the advantage that in the educational use of when, for example, students have to carry the microscope from a cupboard to their desk and so on, it's much easier uh, because they're lighter and also because there's less possibility of damage uh, being done. So that is uh, one um, advantage. Um, the other um, advantage of uh, monocular microscopes is, is that because the light uh, of the um, objective is not split up into two or three parts, for this reason the image is a little bit brighter than in binocular microscopes. Um, and uh, in, a, in the case of a, a microscope with a binocular head, it should not be confused with stereo microscopes like this one here, okay? And there is a big difference uh, because in a stereo microscope like this here, there are actually two objectives down here. You cannot see it right now. I have to maybe uh, flip it over to show you. I'm gonna do this. You might actually be able to see that there are two um, objectives uh, in, uh, in here. And this means that uh, uh, each eye will receive a different image, okay? And this means that this, you, uh, this microscope will give you a stereoscopic vision and uh, you actually see three-dimensional, okay? And that's uh, quite nice. But this is actually a different type of microscope and should not be confused with uh, the microscopes that I have here. Because what we have over here is, is we only have one objective uh, down here on, um, on the bottom, and then the light is split up into both eyes. And uh, this means that basically uh, both eyes uh, should get the same picture, and therefore you do not get a stereoscopic vision. At least that is the textbook knowledge. Uh, as a matter of fact, is if you use a low power objective down there, there, you do get a very, very slight stereoscopic vision as also with these microscopes because the diameter of the lens is relatively large with a couple of millimeters. And so your eyes will also receive a different um, image, a slightly different image. But this is actually a, a, like a positive side effect and that's not really the main purpose of uh, using a binocular uh, um, yeah, head. So what is now the main purpose? And the main purpose is simply ease of use or comfort of use. Uh, and uh, especially if you use the microscope for a very long time, for several hours, for example, it is much more convenient. Um, that is uh, the big advantage. And what you can do, of course, is you can adjust the distance uh, between uh, the two eyepieces and then one of the eyepieces uh, can also be um, uh, moved in and out by turning uh, the eyepiece. And this allows you to adjust to different eyes. Um, yeah, to, if you have a different eye vision, then you can uh, actually adjust this. But if you use glasses, then basically the glasses will compensate that and you can uh, basically uh, just keep both eyepieces set at the same, um, the same way. Um, so that is uh, the question of, of some really comfort uh, of use. And it also gives you a more immersive uh, impression. This means that when you're observing 
uh, water samples for example um, and so on it's simply more fascinating i would say to use both eyes because you get a fuller picture you simply feel more immersed in in, in what you see so it is more of a, a subjective preference uh, yeah but that is basically the main the main point now uh However, um, with trinocular heads, that is again a different issue because here you have the possibility to attach a, a camera, but not only um, any camera, but even relatively heavy cameras. Um, you can take, of course, all the pictures using, uh, you know, if you only have binocular or monocular heads, you can also, of course, uh, take pictures. What you need is you need relatively low cost uh, cameras like these, and they can, can simply be attached uh, instead of one of the eyepieces here, right? Um, so that is uh, quite simple, uh, possible, but that is uh, possible because uh, they are relatively low weight, um, so it's not a problem, but you cannot attach a heavy a single lens reflex camera um, to one of those eyepieces because the microscope might actually tip over. So that's not uh, yeah, designed to do that. So and uh, for this uh, reason you need a trinocular uh, microscope and this also allows you to observe at the same time while filming or taking pictures. Um, and what you have here is, is you have a little uh, lever that you can uh, yeah, move in and out and this uh, basically allows you to redirect the light only to the eyepieces or also to the photo tube um, because uh, if you uh, also use some of the light for the uh, for the camera um, then of course the image brightness is going to be lower as well uh, also generally not a big problem because uh, the nowadays the microscopes are quite bright anyway they have uh, strong leds or halogen light bulbs but under certain circumstances you might need actually the light especially if you're working with very high magnifications where the light intensity where, where the light is the sample and the specimen will appear to be quite dark so um yeah so this was basically um, a short uh, overview over the different microscope heads um, and uh, the question is now um what buying advice do i give you and uh, buying advice is the following is uh, if you buy a microscope uh, also take this into consideration of whether your microscope body actually allows you to upgrade um, this is uh, generally possible for medium to high range of microscopes, but you have to inform yourself whether the company actually um, offers exchangeable microscope heads. Um, and uh, this is usually not the case with very low um, end microscopes. Um, and of course it is like this, the different microscope manufacturers also, the heads are not always compatible, obviously. So this might be one of the things that you could take into consideration. Um, but my advice is is uh, the best microscope is always the one that you use most often and uh, if you actually um, use a monocular microscope uh, more often because uh, it's easy to carry around uh, and it's easy to uh, take out from your cupboard then actually this has a much bigger advantage than if you have a nice large microscope standing around uh, that you can actually never use because it's always locked away right so that is basically the general uh, an overview here um, I wish you all the best uh, as always and uh, happy microbe hunting and happy microscopy. Bye bye.